I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. Welcome, collectors, to the discount action for you, dude. I am your host, Christopher, and as you can plainly see, we are surrounded by Thanagarians on this day. Why are we surrounded by Thanagarians? Well, clearly, we are here to vet a Thanagarian. I want you to know that it's not always about the discount for the discount action figure. Dude, every once in a while, he will overpay for an action figure. It's not often that he will overpay for an action figure, but every once in a while, there's something that he has to have that he feels he should have that he will overpay. I don't know why I'm doing this in the third person like I'm not the discount action figure dude, but we're doing it anyway. Every once in a while, he will feel the need to pay a little more than he is comfortable with for an action figure. And today, that action figure happens to be Earth 2 Hawk Girl. We'd like to thank the gentleman at eBay who was kind enough to uh, make this available for me. Um, not only did I get the Earth 2 Hawk Girl in this uh, package that he sent to me for not too much money, but still a, a, a little more than I'm comfortable with, but I also got me a uh, Earth 2 Simon Baz, which we will uh, you'll be taking a look at him because he's going to be vetted by some Green Lanterns. And also, an Earth to a Batman. I, you know, I didn't think I would be able to bring some Batmans to be vetted into the hall of uh, homemade columns. But that's what's going to happen. But today, it's all about Earth to Hawk Girl. Let's say we cut this girl open. And here goes Earth 2 Hawk Girl out of the box, uh, looking very good with her gun strapped to her side and her knife uh, strapped to her ankle, ready to do some damage, just so you know. Her bio on the back of the box is worthless. It says, a treasure hunter by profession, but now something more. I don't know what that more is. Simply by the wiki, I know her name is Kendra Munoz Saunders. So, let's say we take a closer look at Ms. Munoz Saunders. So this figure, thank you again, Todd McFarlane, for these handy-dandy stands you give us in every figure because, especially for a lot of the older DC figures, they do come in handy and they do fit quite well. So this is an old figure. It um, came out, I believe, in 2014, so it's almost 10 years old. But it still does look very good, very solidly built. Of course, because of the age, there are certain things that... Uh, you know, that you just aren't going to get too much of, like, say, a double-jointed knees. Because this is, this is as, as far back as her knees go, and I'm not trying to make them go any further back than that, because it looks like they were going to break. Oh, gosh. And her, her, <laughs> her, her wing just fell off, which was a bear to get in in the first place. So, let's get up in there. Ah, oh, there we go. There. We just, just got to get it in once. You know. But she does have a decent amount of articulation, especially for DC collectibles. Because a lot of the older DC collectibles, you know, they couldn't even move their hips out to the side. But at least Kendra can do that. And the colors for the costume are very nice. The skin tone is very nice. Very nice figure. Very nice colors that pop on this costume 
very nice. I like the the head sculpt is also. Let's make sure. It's also very nice. You get a close look there. The shiny blue colors of the helmet are nice, and the uh, nice textures on the wings too. I mean, this isn't bad for a ten-year-old figure. You know. And her impressive uh, a braid of hair coming down there, which yeah. yeah. So. Uh, do we mind that we spent a little bit more than we're comfortable with for Earth 2 Hawk Girl? No, not at all. She is a very lovely figure and will make a very fine addition to our rogue of Thetagarians we have back there. And I maintain that DC Collectibles were making, at the very least, some of the best looking action figures at the time. Again, they were a little kind of light on the articulation for those who, you know, care about that kind of thing. But as far as just just aesthetics, DC Collectibles, uh, they were making some great looking figures in. Hog Girl, Earth 2 Hog Girl here, is no exception. Stay strong, collectors, and keep on collecting.